Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a really cool tutorial for everybody. It's using the new Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette and I created this very kind of cat eye makeup tutorial that is kind of perfect for I think the holiday parties, maybe even New Year's if you don't want to go all out, you know, with the false lashes. It's a very comfortable, dramatic look. So I'm starting off with my Dermablend Foundation from Vichy and it's, this is in the shade Opal and I'm using my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush which if you have watched my favorites, you know this is my holy grail foundation brush because it really packs on the coverage but at the same time shears it out and makes it look very like skin like so I really love this combination and I've been wearing it a lot when I wanted a really kind of flawless finish and can we appreciate the fairy lights in the background I think they're really really nice um, this is my first tutorial using this background and I really like it um, then I'm gonna fill in my brows I'm using my uh, deep dark brunette brow fluid line gel cream from MAC Oh, surprise, surprise, I use this all the time. It's just the best ever. It doesn't budge and it fills in the brows and it looks nice and pigmented and it's all good. So I love this product. And once I'm happy with the shape, which if you notice, I'm actually gonna kind of make my brows a bit skinnier just to have a lot more lid space to play with, which if you're doing a very smoky eye, I would say that a skinnier brow will give you just a lot more dimension to the eyes and make the eyes look a lot bigger. And then to make sure that the brows actually, you know, last and stay in place I'm gonna set them with my L'Oreal brow out is plumper in the shade the medium brown just to make sure they add you know a bit of plumpness and also that they'll last the whole day Then I'm gonna prime my eyes for the eyeshadow and today I'm using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden. Again, a holy grail item. I have really red eyelids and this is the only primer that really can counteract the redness in them and hide the veining and I just freaking love it. It really does make the shadows look a lot um, last a lot longer and look a lot more pigmented. And then I'm gonna use my Match Perfection Concealer from Rimmel to highlight underneath the eyes and also hide any dark circles. I'm using my foundation brush to buff it out I really love the slant that this brush has so as you can see it's super easy to get in the inner corners and have everything nice and blended and then I'm gonna set everything with my MAC studio fix foundation again if you're going for a very smoky eye I would say that your base kind of needs to be as perfect as possible so I really went all out with the face products today I just wanted to get that kind of uh, flawless finish to it and then we can move on to the eyeshadow so first I'm using this cool brown uh, with my Sigma my E25 brush and I'm going to apply it in a crease as a transitioning shade but I'm also going to kind of bring it onto the temple as you can see not really onto the temple just towards it to buff everything out and give that cat eye shape then I'm gonna use this rusty brown color in the bottom line which is super shimmery and nice and I'm gonna actually use my finger to apply it in the first half of my eyelid I just think with fingers it just is a lot easier and a lot more pigmented and um, after I've done that, I'm actually going to use a darker color, which I'm going to show you in a moment. So this one right here, and I'm just going to focus on the outer corner of that color and kind of alternate my fingers so I have a nice great radiant effect from the first part to, of the lid to the dark one on the outer corner so I'm just blending everything with my fingers honestly my brushes were all just really dirty and I didn't feel like washing them that day so that's what I did and then I'm going to my um, E25 brush I was using for the transitioning shade and just blend everything else until you know it looks nice and seamless then I'm gonna add black now this palette comes with a really great matte black and I'm using a pencil brush to apply it right on the outer corner again blending it into that cat, cat eye shape that I created before and then I'm going back to the E25 brush and as you can see these shadows just blend together like a dream I really love the formula so I'm just you know bluffing everything out until I'm happy with the smokiness of it don't over blend it because you're gonna lose the effect you've tried to uh, mimic with the gradients you know from the light to the dark and you don't want it to look super muddy so just be careful about that but blend the outer corners and blend it upwards for highlighter, I'm using this really beautiful vanilla shade on a small stippling brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to apply it to the inner corners and also bring it onto the brow bone and this is just going to tie the whole look together. This color is not matte but it's not shimmering at all so it's kind of in between and it just adds the perfect highlight. Then I'm going to go back to the chocolatey brown shimmering shade that I was using on the outer half of the lid and with a smaller brush I'm just going to apply it underneath my eyes and also smoke it out towards the outer corner.
then I'm gonna use my super liner from L'Oreal, finally a new liner. I gotta say, I do not like this liner as much as I love my um, L'Oreal Linear Intense Liquid Liner, but it's a nice one. I mean, if you like a felt tip liner, there's nothing wrong with this one. I just prefer a super really wet liquid liner. But I'm just doing a super thin line on the upper lash line, I think too exciting. And then I'm also gonna tight line and apply a black cold pencil. This one is from Rimmel on my waterline to make everything a bit darker. Next I'm going to use my Ico Black Magic Mascara and curl my lashes with my Tarte Lash Curlers. If you want you can add some falsies but honestly I just wanted to show you that you do not need to wear falsies in every single makeup look in order to make it look dramatic. I think this look is good on its own and this mascara is freaking amazing. Just pile on mascara and you don't have to fiddle around with false lashes. I think this looks really nice just as it is. But if you want, apparently you can, you know, use if you want false lashes. Then I'm gonna add a bit of bronziness. I'm using my matte bronze bronzer from MAC and this really big fluffy um, brush from Real Techniques. This is their blush brush. And I'm just applying it more to add color than to contour on the outside perimeters of my face. So on my temples, on the sides of my cheeks, and I'm also gonna bring it on the jawline. Also gonna contour this is my Ilamasca eyeshadow and heroin if you follow me for a while you know this is my favorite hi uh, not highlighting contouring shade and I mean since I'm kind of trying to do like a holiday party look you know there will be taking some photos and stuff so I really just wanted to make sure that this look will offer as much structure to the face as possible so this will look really great in photography and it's not you know unnatural as some like other contouring um, ways can be you know like cream contouring and then a lot of different products can kind of make you look a bit grayish, but this shadow really doesn't do that, so I do like applying it whenever I want a bit more structure. And then I'm gonna use this Body Shop um, blush in Guava with my MAC 183, I believe, stippling brush. And I'm just applying it on the apples of my cheeks and bringing it onto the, t uh, onto the cheekbones to make sure that, again, I'm adding a bit of structure that looks really nice on the photos and blend out the contour and bronzer all together. And we're not done with the cheeks, I'm also gonna add a highlighter. So this is the Becca highlighter in Opal. I have been totally in love with it ever since I got it. It's just a really beautiful, beautiful highlight. For the holiday season, I say bust out the highlighters. The glow has to be there, you know. I just think it looks super festive and really nice. So I'm using a really big crease brush to apply it on the tops of the cheekbones. And I'm also gonna apply it kind of to the center of the nose, Cupid's bow, and kind of in between my brows. And finally for the lips, I'm using my MAC lipstick in the shade Giddy. It looks a lot brighter on camera than it really does in real life. Um, I would do more of like a nude pink, which is what this lipstick is, but for some reason the camera just didn't intensify the color. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of gloss. This is the Tanya Burr's limited edition uh, lip gloss in the shade. Um, I'm not sure which shade it is. It's, it might be Macaroon, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put it in the uh, bottom bar so you can see it. But that wraps up actually the whole look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure you subscribe for my other Vlogmas videos that are coming and I'll talk to you guys super soon. Bye!